What's up, everyone? Welcome to BTI. I'm Josh Matthews. That's Gia Miller. We're eight nights away from Overdrive Live next Friday night on Impact Plus. Are you ready for tonight? Oh, I'm so ready. I'm, I'm, I'm shifting into gear. I like that. Yeah. You think about it in, in, in wrestling and NASCAR and all sports, really, I mean, in momentum, getting yeah. into the right position, getting into Overdrive at the right time. You think everyone's ready? Oh. They can't be ready for this. They looked ready last week in a main event okay. tag team match that featured strange bedfellows. Oh, yes, your strange, your like strange bedfellows. Yeah. And that was Josh yeah. Alexander and Frankie Kazarian who will be facing off mm -hmm. at Overdrive. That's why they're strange bedfellows. But opponents at Overdrive? Partners last week? Yeah, they had to team up you to take partners on. on the show, but opponents in real life. Aussie Open. Yeah. This is the main event from last week. Tag team match. Just not getting a word in, folks. Let's take you back to the main event from last week. Tag, Davis is legal. Davis did enough there to slow up Kazarian and a kick to the head of Alexander was trying to intervene on Kaz's behalf. Oh. And a kick by Fletcher. Great set up by Davis. And the hits just keep on coming. Oh, got the cutter. Davis legal on Kaz. Kick out by Frankie Kazarian. Somehow Kazarian stayed in this one despite that flurry of offense from Aussie Open. What a sequence in this matchup. Aussie Open won a competition and they're getting it. They one of the best of the best. Well, now look at this, Kazarian able to escape out of the corner and a tag made to the Impact World Champion. Alexander now, it's his turn to fight both members of Aussie Open. Oh, wait a minute, now look at Fletcher and Davis. Oh, go for a double team to control the champion, and they can't do it. Some bone on bone, oh. forearm collision. And now the German suplex barrage that Alexander has become known for over the past few months has ensued. Alexander holding on here, and now Davis. Saving his partner once again. Beautiful, cohesive teamwork. Davis into the top row. Oh, blow right to the back of the neck. Alexander oh. with a power bomb. Shoulders down on Davis and a kick out. Incredible strength from the walking weapon there. That is no easy feat to put a power bomb on someone like Mark Davis. And now center of the ring, thinking about the C4 spike, and Davis backs him off. Oh! And this double team barrage from Aussie Open continues. Oh. Clubbing, sliding forearm from Davis. One coming out of the mouth of Josh Alexander. Oh, and is it time for Corey Ollis? Aussie Open setting up for their finishing move. And look at Kazarian protecting Alexander. Stepping in to save your tag team partner. And oh, now Alexander slides into the ankle lock. Oh, oh, what a super kick by Fletcher. Leaves himself open for that one. Oh. And Alexander will not yield. It takes both of Aussie Open. Alexander was still on his feet. But now, looking to put the world champion away. Dropped center of the ring. This is it for Alexander. Davis is legal on the walking weapon. And Kazarian saves the matchup. Just in the nick of time, Kaz and all his tag team championship experience paying dividends for himself and the walking weapon here in Vegas. Alexander desperately needs to make a tag. Fletcher, meanwhile, tags in. Oh, and another shot at Kazarian. Once again, Kazarian's got to be careful not uh -oh. to run into the same situation as he got into before. Oh! Oh, and a straight right! That one, a level Fletcher. And a tag made, and now Alexander gets Kazarian into the match. Up. And once again, Kazarian unloading. And now some teamwork here, perhaps, from the future opponents. Oh! And Kazarian goes after Fletcher here. Oh! Leg drop right to the back of the neck. Alexander with a crossbow to the back of Fletcher. 
And keeping the pedal to the metal here. And Alexander tosses Fletcher to Kazarian. The leg drop, cover. Oh, and a kick out by Fletcher. Great resilience there from Kyle Fletcher. But what an awesome series of teamwork from Kazarian and Josh Alexander. I didn't expect that cohesive of work. As oh. right now, Kazarian looking for that chicken wing once again. Center of the ring, Fletcher able to escape for a moment. Now Kazarian, what is standing switches here. Oh, oh. And Davis, the official didn't see Davis's involvement. Cover, Fletcher can't put away this match. I thought that was it. Kazarian was out on his feet there for a second. And now Davis trying to set up for Fletcher. Alexander protecting Kazarian. Alexander making the save once again. But RC open uh -huh. trying to get the teamwork going. No! Ankle lock! Ankle lock! And Kazarian! Now locking in a submission of his own! Double submission from Champion and Challenger! A bad place to be if you're uh -huh. Great, great maneuver there from Fletcher, using Alexander to break up the submission from Kazarian. Double submission attempt by Kazarian and Alexander. Fletcher does enough to keep Aussie Open's chances alive. Now all four men in the ring together here. Slugging it out. Oh! Kazarian relentless in this main event matchup. And Davis with a big kick. Now Alexander goes after the big man. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Clubbing ah. forearm, but Fletcher tries to turn it around. On the outside, go Alexander and Fletcher. Big tumble. Oh, look at this. Oh, the cutter. Got it. The slingshot cutter to Davis. Cass legal. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners, Josh Alexander and Frankie Kazarian. Tracy, Rebel, Jen, and Jen celebrating at ringside. What a matchup. And surprisingly cohesive and great teamwork there from Kazarian and Alexander. But look at what Kazarian has his hands on oh, oh, right oh. now. From tomorrow, Friday, November 18th, live in Louisville, Kentucky. It's gonna happen. Kazarian and Alexander for the Impact World title at Overdrive. You know, gee, I was talking to our graphics designer, Dan Burgess, the other day, and he told me, right now, Frankie Kazarian is better than he's ever been in his entire career. That's saying so much. Do you agree, disagree? I mean, it, it's been a constant up. Yeah. I mean, better with age, right? He's like a fine wine. We'll see what happens at Overdrive when Frankie Kazarian challenges Josh Alexander for the Impact Wrestling World Championship. So much to get to here tonight, folks. Gio, we got some action on BTI. Yeah, that's right. And it's knockouts action. It's Killer Kelly. She'll be kicking the night off against Sandra Moon. Plus more highlights from Impact from last week. Don't go anywhere, folks. BTI rolls on right after this. Welcome back to BTI, folks. Eight nights away from Overdrive, but an all-new Impact Wrestling follows us immediately after BTI. We already talked about the main event, but Jen, now we need to go back how the night started. And that, of yeah. course, was Kenny King, Mike Bailey, and the X Division Championship Tournament. Mm -hmm. We've got some people that are already in the semifinals, all right? Yeah, that's right. It's PJ Black, Black Taurus, and Trey Miguel. They've all advanced so far in the tournament. So. Who would be the fourth to join them? Let's find out. Will it be Kenny King or will it be Mike Bailey? Back to the impact zone. We go a lot on the line in this one. Oh, oh Bailey. Oh, face oh. first. Oh. And a single line Boston grabber by Kenny King. Kenny King floating right through, continuing to put pressure, damage on the leg of Mike Bailey out here on the floor. The official all over Kenny King to break the submission attempt on the outside after the count of five. K-I-N-G King! King rolls back inside the ring. 
Letting the people here in his hometown know. Uh -oh. oh, back to the leg, as you mentioned. And we know so much of the offense that Mike Bailey is resorting on those kicks, on the athleticism, the high flying of Mike Bailey. Take that away. Whoa! He saw that open and used his other light and gift. If there's anybody who's good ambidextrously, it's someone like Speedball Mike Bailey. Oh, ambidexterity, if you will. That's right. Oh, right to the sternum there with that kick. Oh, ass kick to the back of the neck. All the kicks from Bailey. Fighting through the pain. Ginger on the leg, but fighting through it. That's how much it means to him to get back to that exhibition championship. Oh, that kick off and a T-bone suplex there. Just tossed. King saw it coming. Oh, oh. Tiger driver. Shoulders down. Oh. Really kicks out so loud in this tournament. Frustration building for Kenny King, who once again deposits Mike Bailey on the outside. Yeah, hey, if it was good in the ring, it'll damn sure be effective on the rampway here. Oh, no, not this. Oh, oh. Great wherewithal from Mike Bailey here, who's taking it up a notch, quite literally. Oh, kick to the face. And now look at Bailey. No. Putting everything on the line. Take another look. Incredible athleticism from Mike Bailey with the moonsault to Kenny King to go for the X Division Championship. Meanwhile, back inside, missed with the kick up on the shoulders. Is it time for the chin check or the Royal Flush? Oh, no, no, shoulders no, no, no. down. Bailey nearly had King. Shoulders down on Bailey. Kick out. Oh! King saw that coming once again, going back to the single leg. Austin Crab. Beautiful job there by Kenny King. Trying to get a submission victory. He's gone out to the leg multiple times throughout this match. And Kenny King is going to have to break the submission. Bear gets to the bottom rope. Oh, or he could do that and drag him away from that rope. But Bailey using his other leg to keep on fighting. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shoulders down, shoulders down. Oh, and Bailey got King! Here is your winner, Speedball, Mike Bailey! Look at the shock on the face of Kenny King! Look at the shock on the face of Mike Bailey! Almost out of nowhere! Congratulations to Mike Bailey. Let's take a look at the updated bracket here. It's gonna be Black to Roos versus BJ Black in the semifinals. And we can tell you that next week, also in semifinals action here on Access TV, Mike Bailey will face Trey Miguel. The X Division Championship Tournament continues. We will crown a new X Division Champion two weeks from tomorrow at Overdrive. So Mike Bailey, who, as mentioned on commentary, never had a chance to exercise his rematch clause because Frankie Kazarian exercised option C. So Bailey's fighting his way back, defeats Kenny King, moves on in the tournament. Bailey is hungry to prove he's worthy of being X Division champion again. Speaking of hungry, that's exactly how Tasha Steeles described Savannah Evans last week, and it was feeding time in the impact zone. So we take you back to Las Vegas last Thursday. Well, Savannah Evans, oh! Taking a page out of Rosemary's book. That's right, Decay's not the only one oh, who can German. take a bite. Evans scrambles into the cover. Shoulders down, kick out by Jessica. Savannah Evans doesn't want a little appetizer. She wants the main course and wants to serve up Jessica. And Jessica trying to fire herself back up here in this matchup. Oh, and Evans has Jessica by the throat. Oh! oh. A 
flurry of strikes there from Jessica, who just said she loves it. She's all about the pain. Evans, though, unleashing a flurry of headbutts. Oh, it's a big one like a torpedo from Jessica. And that takes the cannibal down. And now, what is Jessica gonna have to do to put this one away for good? That was sick, and now Jessica trying to find a way to end Savannah Evans in this match. Tremendous power from Jessica with that kick. And now looking to put it away. Will being sick be enough oh. as she flattens Savannah Evans? The splash off the ropes. Jessica is rolling here. He's got to find a way to close out this matchup against Savannah Evans. Uh, wait a minute, Tasha steals up on the apron, and Taya Valkyrie not going to stand for that. Oh! And there's Rosemary Spear to Tasha Steels. Everly breaking down on the outside here. Meanwhile, the match is still going on in the ring. Oh, and a big boot by Evans. Staggers Jessica. Looking to hook up, full Nelson slam! Cover! Savannah Evans just pinned one of the knockouts world tag team champion. Here's your winner, Savannah Evans! Amidst the chaos, the cannibal feasts. He took advantage there and got the win, a huge win. One of my favorite new teams here in Impact Wrestling, the Death Dolls, but the headline coming out of that match is Savannah Evans defeated Jessica, yeah. and she got her, and she slammed her down and picked up the win. Yeah. So much going down here in Impact Wrestling. The Death Dolls fall victim to Savannah Evans. We'll see what the future holds for all of those knockouts here in Impact Wrestling. Speaking of the future, we have more action from the knockouts here on BTI as Killer Kelly clashes with Sandra Moon in singles competition. Plus more highlights from Impact Wrestling from last week and a look ahead at what's to come tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI, and we don't like to waste any time around here, so let's go back to the impact zone right now for more action inside the ring. You ready for this? Well, actually, we won't be going back to the impact zone or the ring. We're going back to the Las Vegas mm. desert, a street fight, well, uh, desert, desert, a sand fight yeah. between Eddie Edwards and PCF. They took it to the desert. This is all your fault! 
He's... I've seen a lot here in Impact Wrestling over the years, but I've never seen anything quite like that. PCO buried in the desert, Eddie Edwards walking away, seemingly the end, perhaps, of this. If there's one thing I know about Impact Wrestling, it's, it's never the end when we think it's the Expect end. Expect the unexpected, right? Yeah. Well, now can we go back to the Impact Zone? Yes, All we right. can. Let's go back to the Impact Zone last Thursday night as Eric Young and Sammy Callahan look to settle the score. The dead center of the ring. Both guys tested each other's metal. Oh! Ripping at the head, the face of Young. Oh! Got a clothesline by Eric Young. Yes! Now Young trying to position Sammy Callahan to put him away here in this matchup. Make his message perfectly clear. Uh -oh. Young going up top. Oh, my God! You don't see that often from Eric Young. You might see the elbow drop from time to time, but the moonsault busting a new trick out of the out of the bag there for Eric Young. Sammy Callahan. Oh, right across the chest of Young. Clubbing blows from the death machine. Oh, Callahan! Putting the leader of VBD on notice. It's the time for the Cactus Driver 97. Looking to put him away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God, I, oh my God, they run around us. It's more than design. Good God, how many are there? They multiply every week, it seems. It's Eric Young's army of violence. Be careful, oh. he'll fight them all.
up here again recently competing with the X Division. And now, seemingly a part of the design here on behalf of Eric Young. Oh, oh my God! And now tearing at the flesh of Sammy Callahan. Oh my God! Oh! Diener leading an entire army of the designed here, headlined by Khan and Angels. What is this new era of violence? With Eric oh, Young God. calling every shot. Speaking of unexpected things happening, I mean, a swarm of yellow hooded individuals. Diener then stands up after all those guys are in the ring and reveals angels and Khan. Yeah, it's just I, 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 mind boggling how many people we saw in the ring and then those two, those two men at the, I, who knows what the future holds for Violent by Design. Sammy Callahan was left laying in a, in a pool, uh, just a mess and VBD always has a plan, and they're seemingly taking over everything. But the Knockouts will be taking over BTI tonight as Killer Kelly goes one-on-one -on -one with Sandra Moon. When we come back, it's our social media top five clapback moment of the week. Iceman Intel and more. Don't go anywhere. BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI. Impact Wrestling is closer than ever before as we get ready for an all-new two hours of total non-stop action that is Impact Wrestling. You see what I did there. It's now time for, to turn it over to what we've been tweeting about and texting oh, yeah. about and yeah, yeah. Facebooking what's, about. What's popping up on, this, on this little monitor I've got multiple here. monitors all over the monitors. place now. Yes, yeah, so it's just like a high tech, you yeah, know, production yeah, value. So we can see all five in front Everything, of us. I got live action going on all over the place. Thanks, Melissa. You never know who's, oh, you're a fake assistant? That's yeah. still a thing? You're it's still her. You're still doing that? Baby girl. Okay, let's well, see the top five. yeah, let's see the top five and GM maybe we'll come back to reality after we look at the top five. And now the social media top five moments on BTI. Number five. Looks like Giselle Shaw and Vexed had to say thank you next. Number four. Joe Hendry has set his sights on Brian Myers Digital Media Championship. Number three. Bully Ray and Moose are gonna put this all to bed because they're facing off at Overdrive. Number two. Violent by Design has two new members in Con and Angels. And at number one. As of this week, Josh Alexander became the third longest reigning Impact World Champion. Well, that was what the good side of the internet had to say. What about the dark side? Now I feel like Bad we should have side. like a big monitor yeah. for the clapback. Like yeah. we should have it pop up on the screen. And then we can turn around and look at it and go, oh, well, there it is. The weather <laughs> is going to be like this in this part of the country. Nonetheless, here is the clapback moment of the week. It's what somebody said about somebody else that made them upset. And we love it. The clapback moment of the week is. The only thing that hits harder than Jordan herself are her tweets. That's what's cracking. Cracking. Like, like thin ice. Thin ice. Yeah. Skating. Yeah. He's skating. That person's skating. You're, you're ice skating? No. No, I just, I just fall on my butt. Oh, well, you can try. I don't have to. It's getting cold right now, winter time almost. Speaking of cold, oh, look how good that was. Speaking of cold, it's now time to head over to our broadcast colleague, 
coming to us from somewhere. We don't really know where he exists from, but the lair, Iceman, taken away. What do you got for us this week? Welcome to Iceman's Intel. I'm George Iceman. Let's get right into it. Today, someone was late to the arena, and I'm referring to one half of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions, Jessica. And that's just not like her. In fact, she wasn't her same bubbly self as usual. I thought she was feeling under the weather, so I checked up on her, and that's just not the case. And ladies and gentlemen, after answering the open challenge last week to one Savannah Evans, Jessica has suffered her first loss. Is this maybe some of the reasons why she's not her regular self? Well, now it's official, ladies and gentlemen. The Death Dolls will have to defend the Knockouts World Tag Team titles against Tasha Steeles and Savannah Evans at Overdrive. But how are they going to work as a cohesive unit with Jessica's new attitude? Where's her fighting spirit? Well, I've reached out for comments and got nothing. I tried to call friends and family to see if they had anything to say. So far, I'm getting nothing, ladies and gentlemen. But Overdrive is just around the corner. So maybe, just maybe, we'll get a little light shed on this situation on the Impact Zone on Access tonight. Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're ready for knockouts action here on BTI. And Killer Kelly has really opened a lot of eyes ever since bursting on the scene here in this company a number of months ago. Is that a fiery rivalry with Tasha Steeles and frankly Matt Raywald? Is there anybody more tenacious in the knockouts division than Killer Kelly? And there's a hard argument to make if you're looking for one. I'll tell you this. Killer Kelly coming fresh off that rivalry, like you said, with Tasha Steeles is out here now looking for fresh competition, looking for fresh meat within the knockouts division. And I have no, no jealousy of anybody about to step across the ring from Killer Kelly. And Killer Kelly got a taste of what that competition could look like last week on Impact Wrestling on Access TV, and it's about to face it. Her opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, Sandra Moon. Always nice to have the hometown advantage. Absolutely, I had a great reception from the hometown crowd here, and she's gonna need it, because like I said, Killer Kelly is gonna be looking to take this one apart very, very quickly. Sandra Moon's got a great opportunity here, but it's gonna have to tangle with maybe the most dangerous knockout in Impact today, Killer Kelly. This match is next on BTI. And we are back here on BTI. Thank you for joining us on Impact Plus YouTube and Facebook. Look at, just look at the way Killer Kelly is starting this matchup, just kind of slinking across the ring like that. Killer Kelly reminds me, have you ever seen a cat play with a bug as it crosses the yes. floor? Just toying with it before it finally decides to strike, to bite, to eat. That is Killer Kelly, as you see now, <laughs> locking in the arm of Sandra Moon. Sandra Moon uh, getting a nice reception here from her hometown crowd in Las Vegas, Nevada. So she's gonna have that to back her up. And Sandra Moon's a really interesting oh. story here in Impact Wrestling. I had a chance to catch up with Scott Demore earlier on tonight. He told me Sandra Moon was well, working the ring crew, as many people do, trying to break into professional wrestling a number of years ago when we first came to Samstown. Here's Over a here. cover and a kick out by Kelly. Sandra Moon, he said, was the hardest working member of the crew. In fact, was a teenager at the time, was ordering grown adults around and extraordinarily dedicated, now getting an opportunity like this here in Impact Wrestling, inside an Impact Wrestling ring. It's phenomenal. Well, you put in the work, you start from the bottom, and then you get here, as they say, you know what I mean? Oh. Hard work can pay off. Let's hope it pays off here oh. against Killer Kelly. But that is an uphill battle right now. Big kick there by Killer Kelly with a big smile across her face. A lot of excitement right now in Impact Wrestling because we'll wait from tomorrow live on Impact Plus, Fight TV and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders in Louisville, Kentucky. It's Overdrive. That's on Friday, November 18th. And of course, join us for Kentucky Chaos on Saturday, November 19th. Tickets are on sale now at ImpactWrestling.com for both those events. 
Can't wait to get back down to Bourbon Country. It's Cowboys cover here. Owners down in a kick out. Well, you have a special place in your heart for Old Forester's Paris Town Hall. Oh, that's right. A special place in my heart for Old Forester itself. Can't wait to be back. I also, of course, love the fans over in Louisville. It's Louisville, not Louisville, by the way. I'm yeah, I said it right. I know. I'm just, just reaffirming. Because right now, Sandra Moon finding oh. herself looking for the advantage once oh. again, but Kelly counters it one more time. Went for an axe kick there, now Kelly all over Moon, and a kick out by Moon. Big night of action still to come here on Impact Wrestling on Access TV when things get started at the top of the hour, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll see the semifinals of the X Division Championship Tournament. Trey Miguel versus Mike Bailey, two former X Division champions. Also, Zicky Dice has the inenviable task of facing the Call Your Shot Gauntlet Ooh. winner, Bully Ray, one on one. It'll be exciting to see Bully Ray back in singles competition here in the Impact Zone Ooh. once again. Do not have any jealousy for Zicky Dice there, as right now Sandra Moon gets a great flurry of offense here against Killer Kelly. And now finally goes for this kickback here and drops Kelly. Now Sandra Moon trying to get the crowd behind her again. Fans still filing in here for Impact Wrestling and Access TV. Whoa! In moments, and look at Moon all over Kelly. Taking flight. Beautifully executed dive there from Sandra Moon. Kelly is on the back pedal. You can see the eyes of Killer Kelly roll into the back of her head, now tossed inside the ring. And Sandra Moon looking very sharp here. Great opportunity here on BTI. And let's see if all that hard work in the early part of her career can pay off here with a big win. Oh! oh. Missile drop kick, and Kelly is down. Moon scrambles into the cover, hook to the leg here, and a kick out. And obviously knockouts action here, but once Impact Wrestling gets started on Access TV, big night of action in the knockouts division. Chelsea Green goes one-on-one -on -one with Mickey James. Remember, if Mickey James loses, she will retire, part of her last rodeo. And of course, our main event, the Knockouts World Championship is on the line. It's a first time ever matchup. Jordan Grace, the juggernaut, defends against Giselle Shaw. That's later on tonight on Access TV. Giselle Shaw, I believe she can bring home oh. that championship. Nothing if not confident. We'll see if that comes to fruition later on tonight. And for a moment there, Moon looked like she had Killer Kelly dead to rights, but Kelly just found a way. That hesitation drop kick in the corner. Oh, wait a minute. Go for the killer clutch. Oh, it looks like she almost had it locked in there. Great wherewithal oh. from Moon. Big right by Moon. Now looking to put away Killer Kelly, who's fighting her all the way. Well, now, oh, now, now go for the killer clutch. There it Kelly is. found a way. Moon has no choice but to tap out. Here's your winner, Killer Kelly. And Killer Kelly now relinquishing the submission here all over Sandra Moon. Look at that smile. Kelly is relentless. She's enjoying every second. She wanted fresh competition, wanted fresh meat, and she is savoring every second of it. We now got three officials in the ring trying to get Killer Kelly to relinquish the submission, who finally does. That twisted smirk across the face of Kelly tells you everything you need to know. Great effort tonight by Sandra Moon here on BTI, but Killer Kelly manages to get an important victory here on what is going to be a critical night in the knockouts division. Come Impact Wrestling on Access TV. As I mentioned, James versus Green and the Knockouts World title on the line. Grace defending against Shaw. For more on tonight's action, let's check in with Josh and Gia. Fantastic action to get us started this week here on BTI, and it only gets better from here, folks. We are so close to the start of a brand new Impact Wrestling. And Gia, what are you looking forward to tonight? Oh, I'm looking forward to the main event, Knockouts action. It's going to be a Knockouts World title match. Jordan Grace will be defending against Giselle Shaw. You know, Giselle's really coming into her own as of late. Jordan Grace has been on a, a terror since regaining the Knockouts World Championship. So something has to give tonight when those two go one-on-one -on, -one on Impact Wrestling, the penultimate Impact Wrestling before we get to Overdrive next Friday night in Louisville, Kentucky. And you want to give a prediction for that World Championship match? Overdrive, Josh Alexander. Hey. Frankie Kazarian, the got, families were together. I don't know. It could, mm. it could be either one. I'm gonna say Josh. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold strong with Josh, but 
but honestly, it could be Frank. I mean, you think about it, Frank Kazarian, exercising option C. Obviously, he's an AEW wrestler, so yeah. that throws another wrinkle into everything. We'll see what happens next Friday night. But for now, folks, sit back, relax, and enjoy the best two hours of wrestling of the week. Impact Wrestling starts now.